Hey everyone, welcome back to Neo Band's Intros. I am your host, Nehemiah, and today we're going to explore the selection tools in Adobe Photoshop on the iPad Pro. If you're new here, this channel is all about helping beginners master Photoshop on the iPad Pro. And in this tutorial, we'll cover the basics of the lasso tool, the object selection tool, and the quick selection tool. And I'm gonna answer a question that was left as a comment on a previous video about how to copy and paste something that you just lassoed. Um, but I wanna stress that these tools are essential for making precise selections and editing, editing your images with ease. So let's get started. So first, we uh, are just gonna open up Photoshop and um, you just tap on Photoshop to open it, of course, you know, and um, I have it inside this folder. There we go. So you just tap it to open up. It'll take you here to, you know, the main screen and you can tap create new. And what I did is I just went with the default Photoshop size of seven by five inches and you can adjust more parameters in the canvas section on, or, or, along the right hand side and tap create and you'll get a blank screen. Now what I did was I just added an image to this canvas by tapping the image icon right below the text icon on the left hand panel and you can add media from your photos, from the files, um, sh any shared Adobe libraries. Um, you can add something directly from your camera or from the Lightroom photos. And what I did was I just added this photo from my photos app and, you know, just adjusted, adjusted the uh, shape a little bit. You know, I, I made it a little bit larger. Um, and yeah, you can tap the icon right below the selection icon and this will allow you to scale and rotate skew distort or add a perspective to your image now to get back to the selection tools that we're going to cover uh, we want to go to the tool right below that scale tool which is the selection tools and if we tap and hold these selection tools we'll see uh, the first three tools are the tools we're going to cover. The lasso tool, the object selection tool, and the quick selection tool. So let's get started with the lasso tool. We're going to tap on it. It's the default tool. And the lasso tool is great for freehand selections. And to use it, um, well, first, I recommend having an Apple Pencil or some other stylus when you're working on Photoshop on the iPad, but you can use your finger. Like this is my finger that I'm using to make this selection. Um, but I have the Apple Pencil and I, I really enjoy the precision that comes with the Apple Pencil. I mean, you can get pretty precise either way. It's just a, it's just a matter of what you're comfortable with or the tools that you have, but I do recommend getting an Apple Pencil when you're following along with these tutorials. Um, and yeah, so to use it, we just tap and hold um, the, the tool and just draw around the area that we want to se select. And we can complete the selection simply by connecting it back to the original endpoint. Or you can stop somewhere you know, uh, before it and it'll snap to the um, end point automatically. Oh, sorry, to the it'll snap to the starting point automatically. Now to adjust our selection. Well, first, before we get into adjusting the selection, I want to address the question that somebody had, which was how do they copy and paste something that they just lasso? And while there's not necessarily a quick and easy way to just copy and paste necessarily, um, one way that I figured out how to do something which is pretty much achieving the same result is you see the menu option that pops up at the bottom, generative fill, deselect, mask, erase, content aware fill, invert, and refine edge. 
<clears throat> if we tap the more icon, we can duplicate the selection. And when you duplicate the selection, you see it popped up as an additional layer above our original layer. I just hid our original layer by tapping on the little eye icon uh, to the right. And that hides the layer that you have selected. And what I can do now is reposition this copied uh, selection hit done come back and show that original layer and basically yeah we now have the selection the lassoed selection copied and pasted so that we can reposition it we can scale it we can move it and do whatever we want to do um, but that is to answer the question um, how do I copy and paste something that I just lassoed? Now I'm going to go ahead and hide that for now. Um, but if we want to adjust a selection that we made, first I need to reselect that area again. Bam. Now, if I want to adjust this selection, we have a few options. We see with the lasso tool, um, we have the regular um, lasso mode, which is the very top square. Then you have the two squares that look like they're joined. And this will allow you to add to your selection. So if I want to get more precise, and I'm using my two fingers to uh, uh, and, and I'm I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm putting two fingers on the screen and uh, pinching to go out or expanding my fingers to zoom in, and I can add this little bit of my head and my ear that I missed, and now we've added to our selection. We can tap the icon below it if we want to subtract. So this part down here, maybe I want to subtract a little bit from it, like so. And the, the next editing feature that we have here for the lasso is if I want to uh, create two selections and have the intersection of these selections be what's left over, right? So those are the three different options that we have for making even more perfect, precise, manual selections. Now I'm just going to tap deselect. So we deselect our selection and let's move on to the object selection tool. So with this object selection tool, this tool is, a pow is powerful for automatically selecting objects in your image. So to use it, we want to tap and hold that tool. And then we want to simply draw a rectangle or a lasso around the object that we want to select. And Photoshop will do its best to select the objects within our selection automatically. Now, I just did not give it that big of an area necessarily. So let's see if we can deselect and let's see how it functions with selecting my entire body. Now, that again isn't, you know, the best necessarily, but it's a good starting point. So if I wanted to crop myself out, it, it, this is a decent starting point. Um, let's deselect again and let's just go around my face, see if it makes the selection. Now, this is just what we're able to get with this image, but you get the gist of how it works. You just make the selection with the rectangle and it will make the selection. Now, if I, if I keep the top, the, the top, um, editing tool 
within the ob object selection tool, it will create a new selection within the area that I'm trying to um, select. But again, we can add to it so that we're not creating a brand new selection. We're adding to our previous selection. Right? Or we can subtract. So if I want to come back in here and I want to subtract a little bit from it, it will do its best to subtract part of the image that I am um, selecting. And the same with the uh, the space within the, uh, the overlap. Now it just erased all of my selections, but if I go back and I just select my head and then we try to select an overlap, let's see how that works. Oh, it's not really doing it that well. So that overlap feature with the object selection tool doesn't seem to work well, but I can't think of too many scenarios where I would want to do that. I would just stick with the add and the subtract. Now, to refine our selection, we can use the refine edge option, right? So if I go back and I use the object selection tool to select just my head, Let's make sure we have the right tool selected. Bam. Right now, if I want to refine the edge, we go to the menu that pops up at the bottom and at the very, uh, the very right side, right next to the more, um, you tap on it. And now we can start to refine our edge and now we can smooth we can feather we can expand the selection as well um, for more accurate selections so let's move the smooth slider see how it gets adjusted the feather now you can see I'm getting a much more cleaner selection with the feather we can shift our edge to be a bit wider. Well, actually the, the shift edge isn't really doing much. I figured it would expand the selection or shrink it, but it's really not doing much. But if you wanna snap your so your your changes back to the default position you just double tap it like that but yeah that's how we can get a more refined selection with what we're trying to do now i'm going to click on deselect again so we can move on to the quick selection tool now the quick selection tool is really cool because this basically allows you to paint over the area that you want to select. So all you do is just start drawing or start moving your pen and it starts to make those selections for you. And if I went too far and it's automatically either in add mode or subtract mode, right? And right now we have it in add mode so that the more we tap, the more we select. But if you can see down here, I selected a little bit too much. So now I wanna switch over to the subtract and make those changes like so. And again, if we wanted to refine our edge, we can go to the refine edge and we can adjust the smoothness. We can adjust the feather. as well just to get a little bit of a you know more smooth and precise selection of what we're trying to do now with adjusting the selection of the quick selection tool we actually have these options here beneath the add and subtract 
where we can adjust the brush size of what we're selecting with the quick selection tool. Right now we're at a size of 30, but we can slide this up a bit more, right? To about 150. So that now when we are adding to our selection, we are adding more at a time, right? Or we can go down beneath where we were to about a size of eight. And now we are adding to our selection at a, at a smaller, at a smaller uh, increment, I guess you could say. And again, we have the option to add or to subtract if we feel like we've made too much of a change. We can go back and adjust the brush size, make it larger if we want to subtract by a larger amount. Just like so. So that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, we covered the basics of the lasso tool, the object selection tool, and the quick selection tool in Photoshop on the iPad Pro. And again, these tools are essential for making precise selections and enhancing your editing workflow. So if you found this video helpful, please do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, comment below with any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, um, and I'll try my best to get to them and answer them. Um, and yeah, so don't forget to subscribe as well to Neo Band's intros for more Photoshop tips. If you're at all curious about this photo and this position that I am in, um, this actually came from a hip flexor stretch that um, I do, I guess you could say tutorials for as well for my fitness audience. I have a website where you can sign up to get four weeks of hip flexor stretches just like this sent to you three days a week and I'll send three new exercises on each of those days directly to your inbox and I'll put a link in the description where you can go directly to uh, the subscribe page and yeah it shows you step by step how to achieve these different stretches to unlock your hip flexors, be more flexible, eliminate back pain, hip pain, stiffness, and things of that nature. So go ahead and give this video a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to receive those exercises if you want as well. But in the meantime, keep practicing. I'll keep bringing more Photoshop tips and I'll see you in the next video.